my whole issue is this it's people downplaying other people's experiences like I personally would never downplay another black woman's experience I would never downplay a black man's experience I would never downplay a biracial person's experience it's their experience shoes I didn't walk in shoes I didn't get dirty shoes that I didn't have to keep clean you know what I'm saying like shoes I don't really know much about because I've never worn them I've never I never heard of them half of these stories and the experiences that uh we be listening to it's just like wow like I didn't even know that was happening What's up everybody welcome back to the red dragon archive and i'm glad y'all are back for another video i just want to do a real quick shout out shout out to everybody that's killing you know the youtube watch hours right now for me to be a young um channel and a you know early creator on this channel um, i just want to shout y'all out whether you subscribed or you didn't subscribe or you just watch my videos whenever they pop up and recommend it just 100 percent want to you know throw that out there real quick um so now real quick to talk about the topic at hand as y'all can see of the title this has sparked my interest and as an awareness channel this is one of the things that i feel like i want to talk about obviously me being a black man and it's I'm, I'm just real curious as to see um how deep this rabbit hole goes with black women feeling this way um i do have i'm giving credit to all the you know black women that's you know the content that i got um and i'm piecing together i just want to you know just to get some ideas out there as of where my thought process is coming from and my the way i want to go about probably trying to do a project with this or maybe maybe even like a hardcore deep documentary on this um type of thing dealing with black women and it's inspired me to also want to do one on black men as well i understand that this is not 100 percent all of nothing but once again here we only argue percentages and at the end of the day awareness is technically what's happening with the majority so there's always a rule to the exception of course it's not all but there's a five percent that don't apply to but 95 percent um everything applies to and in this scenario i'm just really want to figure out is that the case is it more men or more black men that really you know treat black women this way and vice versa do is there a majority of black women that actually feel this way versus you know when black women that don't feel this way so it's just one of the things that i just want to bring some awareness to around the black community i apologize if you're not of the black community and you just can't relate to none of this stuff that's about to go on on the screen but it's just one of them things i want to do and that's been an early you know awareness channel is something i want to pick up on so with that being said yeah we can just get into the video and let's see what some of the points are being made here trying to make it seem like when a black woman speaks out about her experience and it has to be a negative one about a black man, but that's her experience, one she didn't ask for, right? She's a bad person. You know, all of a sudden her, her life doesn't matter because it goes up against a black man. Like that's insane to me. That's absolutely insane. all right first off i'm gonna give y'all a real small short context of the video that she's watching um overall technically long story short it's about how you know technically the black man um how he feels about the black woman and everything about that dude in that video he is technically judging um, how black women are and act in that particular segment he was technically talking about his wife's rape and that he didn't care you know technically to that degree and i do feel like that dude was tripping i feel like once you watch it if you want to go you know back i'm gonna try to link all the you know video content 
um, in the description box below. So if y'all want to go check out some of the, these videos in their fullest um, context, y'all can. So that way, don't nobody think I'm trying to chop anything up and make something look some type of way. Once again, this is an awareness channel, so I just want to bring awareness to this. Like, this is the stuff that's been going on. And honestly, I have heard this conversation. This conversation is not new to me, but the deeper I go down the rabbit hole, the more I want to talk about it. So that's the main thing. And, um, yeah, I'm going to, you know, keep everything pushing. But that's what it was. He was technically down talking black women in general throughout the whole video. But also when he that part was talking about, you know, how he felt. That technically you get what you deserve if you are a black woman leaving the club with your ass out and you wind up getting raped. That's technically your own fault. So that's where her proposition was coming from. But let's go down deeper down this rabbit hole of non-black women um, desiring black men more because that's technically why what he wind up saying is that, you know, black men are desired by all these kind of women. And then if y'all into the YouTube world, y'all probably already know about this, but a group chat was leaked out by white women supposedly i'm saying allegedly because i personally don't know you know didn't look nothing up nothing like that but all these videos constantly that's bringing up this topic all said that you know these are alleged um white women that have been exposing how they really feel about black men in general it makes me no different personally but i just want to get through the video and let y'all you know decide that on your own but let's get down more to some uh carnage assume that it's a black woman behind the fake account and it's you same niggas male and female because some women think that too you're the very people that these women in the group chat were talking about it's you it's you it's you it's you Someone said, this is just an indication of how badly black women want to see black men hurt for choosing someone over them. They drag other black women that they view as competition just as bad as they're trying to do these white girls. And someone responded and said, how the freak you blame black women for white women dragging you all on a group chat? If you grow up as a white girl. Yes. And you get attention to, from black guys. Yes. In my experience and all the other white girls that I know, mm -hmm. we don't think that getting attention from black guys gives you a status of some sort. If you get attention from the white guys, no, you, have, uh, you do have the status more than if you get attention from black guys. As a man, I'm going to have to respectfully disagree with that. Well, as a woman who gets attention yes. and who grew up in a white culture more than a black culture, yes. I'm going to tell you that getting attention from black guys is not a badge of honor if you're white. Hmm. Okay. And I'm white. You are white. Yes. So you mean to tell me in the year of Black Lives Matter, white women have been exposing themselves and y'all still gonna blame black women? Oh yeah, it's a wrap. And this is why, ladies, this is why we mind the business that protects us. Say it with me. Mind the business that protects you mind the business that supports you mind the business that loves you point blank per so in response to black women reposting these threads you do have some black men that were basically like well what do you think white men say about y'all like do you really think they put y'all on a pedestal someone said do you think they're saying i love her kinky hair and her cocoa butter scent um <laughs> but unlike you guys black women know that there is a possibility that we might be fetishized we know that there's a possibility that you know he could be racist or have a racist past or he could raise our children or you know to be racist or things like we we know all of these things and we consider all of these things we're very realistic about these things so if a white man comes out and says these things we're like well we already know and fuck you too but when the shoe is on the other foot you guys do this. Here comes the drama. Here comes the dramatics, the theatrical, the theater, honey. Here comes the whining, the crying. Oh, I must be the fly. I have to be. It's, it's, you, you're big babies about it. Like, that's the difference. That's the only difference. You guys cannot accept the fact that, yes, some people, oh my gosh, are not, you, are, you're not their preference. 
You're not their preference, but you can't accept that. So here we go. Now you drag black women into it saying, no, it must be black women because they're our number one haters. When in fact, we were ignoring the whole thing. To the pick me's in the back, save your energy. You might as well get on cold, girl, because they, they don't care. They don't care that you're a pick me. Eventually, you'll be a pick not. Hey, when it's not your business, you you get out of there. You get you get on out of there. It's none of your business. Don't you fight. Chill, this is ghetto. Listen, I don't care if she was going to get a train ran on her, okay? She didn't deserve that, period, okay? I just don't understand how you can victim blame like that's so weird to me and then she's doing it herself and you can tell he's probably manipulated her over the years to believe that it was her fault that's so sad like it's disgusting but this is where he lost all credibility he did bring up some great points but i wanted to bring this to my platform because it's all about conversation and dialogue you guys i'm always gonna address these topics um facts I just want to say that real quick. It's just facts. This is all about conversation. So hopefully don't nobody get their damn panties or boxers in a bunch over this shit. This is just fascinating to me and I want to talk about it. So, but that's facts. That's facts. It's all about conversation. I know there are women on my platform that's like, I don't date black men and did it. Okay, sis, you don't date black men, but there's some of us that still do. Okay, so this video is not for you. Don't watch. It's simple. It's simple. But I know there are black men out here that have this mentality that think like this. And I wanted to bring this to my platform to give you some perspective on my thoughts. If you don't want to date black men, don't date them. If you still want to date out, date out. Why are you watching this video? I have to ask. Because I see a lot of black males doing commentary on this Megan Thee Stallion situation and protecting black women and or the black woman is unprotected. I see a lot of men doing commentary. So I wanted to put my perspectives out here and I wanted to react to this man having this mentality because a lot of black males have this mentality. And yeah, that's all that I have regarding this video. I would love your thoughts and opinions there were afro latinas now i'm assuming these are the mixed or lighter skin ones based upon the conversation talking about latinas who are desired by african-american men and they were talking about cardi and they said all of them because she knows that she is the last choice in the latino community afro latinas know where to get our ace kissed and black american men are easy targets another one said i've read this and this is why some white women will fish but that's another topic for another day and then this other one went on to say yes as an afro latina i know that black men are easy to get because they will like anything lighter than them with a curly hair texture when we can't get the guy we really want or we're tricked into being baby mamas by the guy we really wanted then we turn around and go for the black guy to save us i've seen it time and time again very few of us want black men but black men are convinced of the opposite we just trying to get a better life. And if an idiot black man is going to bury us and give us the good life, then we will suck it up, pray that the baby does look too black. They didn't even say doesn't. Or have coarse hair and we keep it moving. And, and, and we're not supposed to speak about these experiences. We're just supposed to keep quiet about them. That's why the most disrespected woman in America is the black woman because people are constantly trying to silence us. White people when it comes to racism black men when it comes to things that we deal with like domestic violence and, and sexual abuse and emotional abuse like we're not supposed to speak out about those things we're just supposed to be quiet and i'm just at a point in my life where it's like i'm done being quiet i'm done being silenced like it has caused depression suicidal thoughts like all type of stuff i'm done being silent like i'm, I'm done being silent and it's not to offend anyone but I should be able to speak my truth just like a black man should be able to speak his a biracial woman should be able to speak hers a dark-skinned woman that deals with colorism should be able to speak hers because it's her truth that's all you have all we have as people at the end of the day are our experiences that's all we have in your word 
you had some black men that were in denial that this actually happened. You had some black men that were blaming Divest Twitter. You have black men like this one saying, they don't believe this. Let me hear that conversation of a white girl that had been with a black guy for more than six months. This would not be the conversation. Then there were some black men that decided to do their own group chat and they were talking about how she did nothing wrong and they were saying, don't worry, you're good, shoddy. So she posted this to, I don't know if it's a Snapchat story. Y'all gotta forgive me, I don't have Snapchat, but she said, love you all. So you have a mixed response from black men. I saw one that said, you know, he wanted to throw hands with them, but I believe that he is not straight. And I believe that also plays a role because more times than not, straight black men don't really care when they're degraded by white women. They actually feel like that's a challenge. Even if their lives are in danger, they feel like it's not that big of a deal. And that's why I'm upset with the way that a lot of black women responded to this. Shout out to the black women that were saying, hey, this ain't got nothing to do with us. This isn't my battle. I'm not going to get involved. I'm not talking to those type of black women. The black women that were outraged by what they said about black men, the black women that went out of their way to try to get their information. And I'm talking about before they found out what Lisa was stating about how black women are this, 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 and that. That was before that, where black women were lighting up their inboxes. These type of black women are so maladaptive. And let me preface this by saying, I understand because you have been conditioned to be this way. You have been conditioned to be the go-to mule when black men are facing any sort of level of danger or some sort of perceived level of danger. If somebody says something about black men because you were taught to be race loyal, you automatically assume that they're talking about all black people. But notice how black men are able to compartmentalize. They identify with their gender first over their race. When somebody is saying something about black women, especially if they're non-black, or if something happens to a black woman who's in an interracial relationship, typically black men use that as fodder. They'll lambast them, they'll poke fun at them. They have a lot of vitriol for those women. Even if those women happen to lose their life, they don't care. Nothing is off limits for them. Even if this woman has never said anything about them collectively, but for some reason, you still don't get it. You're still over here interjecting yourself into things that have nothing to do with you. These women were not talking about black women in this very chat. They were merely talking about, as they stated, the self-loathing mentality that a lot of black men have. Is it a lie to say that they have low self-esteem? Is it a lie to say that they choose women with lighter skin and looser hair textures over black women? Is it a lie to say that they tolerate women putting them in the most degenerate positions that are non-black, mainly white, and they'll go running? Is it a lie to say that they'll do anything for a white woman? I mean, everything that they stated in that chat was true. These women could have over a hundred bodies, five kids by 11,000 baby daddies. They could be toothless, weigh over a ton, and black men will still go running. This is widely known, which is why the most dilapidated non-black women typically date black men because they know other races of men have standards and a lot of black men don't. I don't listen to argue. I listen to understand. Like I have an understanding ear. I'm, I'm listening to be, I'm not listening to be combative argumentative, confrontational. I'm listening to like, okay, so what happened? What's going on with you? What happened? But that's me. That's the kindness of my heart and my experiences that I've had with people, period, good and bad. It's not gonna change this genuine nature that I have to understand others. I'm so understanding of others. But again, as soon as as soon as you speak out about an experience that you had pertaining to a black man all of a sudden you hate them and it's like why do you feel like that 